What is going on everyone? Got a tech video here to share with all of you on how you can fix your iPhone's DCIM folder if it's not showing up under Windows Explorer when you connect your iPhone to your Windows computer or you got it to show up and you go into your DCIM folder and it's empty. But you know you have pictures and videos in there. So I have two methods here that may help some of you out. I'm on a Windows 10 computer for this tutorial and I'm using the iPhone XS Max. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and connect my iPhone to my Windows computer and you'll hear that it connected with that little chime, but over here under devices and drives, it does not show up. So one thing you can try to correct that issue is to go ahead and go in your camera app and go into all photos. Now, most of you are probably gonna have videos and photos in there, I do not. However, I still want you to try this if you do have photos and videos in yours, but I don't have any. I'm gonna go ahead and open the camera app and I'm just gonna take a random photo of something just like that. And then I'm gonna disconnect the iPhone and reconnect it. And now you'll notice over here, it says Jamie's iPhone. I can click on it. I have my internal storage I can go into and there's the DCIM folder. I can go in there and go in here and there's my photo. Now, if I back out of here and some of you are having the issue where you click on the DCIM folder and in here it is empty, I also have something that you can try as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just back out to this screen here. So if you're having the other issue, you can try going into settings. Then you wanna go to general. Then you wanna scroll down, you just wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom under general and go to reset. And then where it says reset location and privacy, you wanna go ahead and select that and hit reset settings. Now this does not delete any data or anything like that. This is basically gonna allow the phone to like retrust the computer. So if you click that and then we get out of there and we disconnect the iPhone and plug the iPhone back in, you can see I get a pop-up now that says trust this computer. I'm gonna click trust. And then again, you have to unplug your device and plug your device back in. Okay, so it shows up now again. So a couple times there, you may have to unplug it and stuff after you made changes. Go into your folder, internal storage, go to DCIM and see if your folders are in there. If not, I will have videos at the end of this video where of links that you can click to go try some other methods that may help some of you out. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If it was, hit that like button and share it, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.